Hello, thanks for visiting this channel. Today, I have planned to tour inside engine room and will share some useful knowledge for engine room crews. This door is the entrance from accommodation to engine changing room. Class A fire door and can resist standard fire for 60 minutes. Safety posters are posted over fire door. Engine room is one of the onboard restricted areas. So, only authorized persons were allowed to enter engine room. This is door lockers for engineers and duty oilers to keep their stuffs during watch. Changing room is frontier of engine room. It needs to clean and keep away from bad smells to get first impression from visitors and inspectors. Okay, let's go to engine room. This door is also class A fire door. Before enter into engine room, needs to wear personnel safety equipment such as helmet, earmuff, boiler suit, glove and safety shoe. Now, we are entering into engine room. This engine room has 8 stories. Ladders in engine room need to fit back steel plates to prevent fire and heat from the bottom of ladder, suffering to person who run away from engine room, in case of engine room fire. No need to fit back steel plates for ladders, inside the enclosure likes escape trunk. As first, let's go and study nitrogen generator room that is one of the most important machineries in chemical tanker. In this ship, nitrogen generator and its equipments take two stories. Outside of nitrogen generator room, cautions and hazards of nitrogen are posted for watchkeepers. One of the most important procedures is, how to take action in case of nitrogen room ventilation failure. This procedure also required to post it for easily reference in inspection. Nitrogen compressors are installed in this room. Some ship has three compressors and some have two nitrogen compressors. Nitrogen is used in tanker for inerting to prevent cargo damage. Let's go upstairs and let's study remaining parts of nitrogen plant. As first, switch on ventilation fans before entering into nitrogen plant room. As a good practice, engine crews who enter into nitrogen room should carry personal gas detectors. Engine crews must know hazards of nitrogen. Some inspector asked the hazard of nitrogen, randomly. Nitrogen is colorless, odorless and 78% contains an atmosphere. If someone inhale one deep breath of nitrogen, Nitrogen block the carbon dioxide emission process of human body and leads to fatal. Let's see mountings on top of auxiliary boiler.
temperature sensor is fitted at the uptake of boiler chimney. This is main steam stop valve. It is root valve that distributes steam from boiler to various branches of steam lines. This is chimney soot blower for auxiliary boiler. Some boiler doesn't fit in chimney soot blowers, but this boiler has three chimney soot blowers. That is boiler safety valves to relieve excessive steam pressure rise up inside boiler. Some boiler fitted three safety valves, but this boiler has two safety valves. Two is at most. These red and blue colored lines are oxygen and acetylene lines for cutting and welding jobs. Proper colors should be painted and be sure no corrosion on the lines. Before we go down, need to close ventilation fans. Let's go to downstairs and study. We can go to the place of rescue boat from engine room through this door. Now, you will see boiler mountings at the middle of boiler drum. This is boiler water level indicator with controller and indicates the level of drum water on both local and engine control room. Scum blow down valve is fitted to blow down floating solids and particles on the surface of boiler water. Water is filling into boiler drum from cascade tank through boiler feed valves. Exhaust gas economizer is fitted to recover waste heat from exhaust trunk. This heat of exhaust gas is used to heat up boiler water inside the economizer.
Primary air fan is one of the most important accessories for boiler. It is used for pre-purging and post-purging in firing process of boiler. I will show mountings of exhaust gas economizer. Pressure gauge shows steam pressure of economizer. Calibration date of pressure gauge is marked on gauge for easy reference during inspection. This is safety valve of economizer. Opening pressure of economizer safety valve is higher than opening pressure of boiler safety valves. Manometer is fitted in economizer to no condition of tubes. We can judge need to clean or not by reading pressure difference on manometer. Easing gears are fitted to open safety valve from remote, manually. Deposits and dirts over economizer tubes can be blown by steam soot blowers. Make a recoms to carry out soot blow two to three times per day when the ship is at sea. Water nozzles can be used to wash down soot and dirts over the tubes of economizer while the ship staying in port. Sampling valve is used to take boiler water sample for analysis. Middle blow down valve is also fitted in this boiler. Boiler water level gauge glass shows water level inside drum. One spare secondary air fan motor is kept on board to be used in emergency. Secondary air fan supplies air during boiler firing.
These are manual easing gears for boiler safety valves. Anyone can manually open the safety valves from remote safe place by using this gears. Bottom blow down valves are used to blow down deposits at the bottom of boiler water. To release excess steam along the main steam line to drain cooler, duty engineer can use excess steam controller. Feed regulator regulates the amount of feed water supplying into boiler drum. Depend on water level inside boiler drum, regulator adjusts the amount of feed water supply. In this ship, two stern tube gravity tanks are fitted for stern tube lubrication and sealing. Among two gravity tanks, this tank is higher header tank. Watchkeeper should check the level of lube oil inside the tank, regularly. Environmental acceptable lubricant is used for stern tube. Low level float ball with alarm is fitted in stern tube header tank. Boiler gauge glass blowdown can be done by using these handles with wires. Duty engineer can carry out gauge glass blowdown easily from the bottom floor of boiler by using these arrangement. This is dry chemical powder fire extinguisher and it was placed near boiler to use in small fire. Boiler fuel valve module station is to supply required fuel oil to boiler when firing. In present, boiler is firing and condition of flame can be observed through sight glass. Incinerator is one of marble equipments and used to incinerate sludge, oily rags and some kinds of domestic waste. Some plastic can be burned by incinerator. Before burning plastic, make sure which kind of plastic can be burned with incinerated. This is clearly stated in instruction manual. In this steam manifold, you can see two pressure gauges. Larger pressure gauge indicates steam pressure in main steam line. Smaller one shows lower steam pressure that is reduced steam pressure through reducing valve. Reduced steam pressure is used for fuel tank heating and other steam services.
Waste oil tanks temporary store waste oil before burning in incinerator. Water mixed waste oil can be evaporated inside the waste oil tanks by heating. Cylinder oil storage tanks are used to supply cylinder oil for lubrication between cylinder liner and piston rings. Watch keeper should check the level of using cylinder oil storage tank during watch. Expansion tank is placed higher floor of engine room, to supply cooling water and to give fresh water allowance for various machineries. In this ship, fresh water expansion tank supplies fresh water to main engine, generator engines, main air compressor, ballast water treatment system and nitrogen generator. Watchkeeper should check the level of expansion tank regularly and fill, if necessary. Low level alarm is also fitted in expansion tank. Water level can be checked by using gauge glass of the tank. Close valve after water level is checked to prevent water spillage in case of gauge glass breakage. This circular temperature gauge shows the temperature of exhaust gas before economizer. Let's go to downstairs and let's study machineries and engine control room floor. On my right side, you can see rails of engine room overhead crane. This is quick closing valves cabinet and can be used to shut off fuel oil inlet valves for main engine and free generators, if in case of emergency. Emergency shut-off arrangement for fuel oil tanks is placed at the outside of engine room. Let's go to engine room workshop. This is grinding machine. Certain level of water should be present in container, all the time. Gap between grinding stone and tool resting plate should not greater than 3 mm. Booking of emergency stop must be in good condition. This is drilling machine. Face shield or Google should be placed near the machine for ready to use.
Emergency stock of lathe machine must be in good working condition. Cables of welding machine should be disconnected and secured, if not in use. Hoses disconnected and pressure inside oxygen and acetylene lines should be released to zero, if not in use. Pressure regulators and flashback arresters should be renewed at certain interval. Tanker vessel. Hot work can only be done at designated hot work area without permit. If hot work needs to carry out outside of workshop, hot work permit is required to issue. Let's take a break in here. See you soon in part 2 of engine room touring.